today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Monday, the 28th of September. We're going to go to Unit 12. Yes, okay. We're going to work on pages 141, 42, 43, and 44 in class. Yes, we're going to revise conditional 1, if plus present plus will, and conditional 2, if plus past plus root plus infinitive. Yes. Is it clear? Right. And then, somewhere, nowhere, anywhere, anywhere, something. Yes, okay, we are going to highlight all the grammar charts. You are going to see uh, the grammar on page 178. We are going to highlight all the important things there. Okay, is it clear? Well, shall we go very quickly now to page 141? I'm going to uh, project a picture about uh, storm chasers and you are going to tell me if you would like to be a storm, ch a storm chaser, yes or no, and why, yes? Can you highlight please the words in exercise one? Evening, light, shine, storm, sun, okay? Then we're going to go to exercise two. Yes, you are going to listen to a part of a documentary and you have to answer this question. What do most people do when a tornado is coming? What type of people are storm chasers? What do storm, cha storm chasers do? And what is the common time of the day to see a tornado? Why are tornadoes dangerous okay so let's go let's go let's go let's go wait a minute okay good 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 there we are Can you see? These are storm chasers. Chasers. Storm chasers. Yes? Okay. Storm chasers. Yes? Okay. So, would you like to be one? So, what can you see in the background? In the background, you can see what? Yes? A thunder. Yes? There is a, a kind of car, but I think it is a special kind of a car prepared with all kind of with all the different devices that help them to uh, ch chase these storms and uh, of course to record yes and take photos. Okay. Well. Um, Are you ready? Are you ready to be a storm chasers? I couldn't like to be a storm chaser because I think it is a very, a very dangerous activity. You know, here, well, there is a pickup there, the storm here, yes, and in the foreground, there is a man taking the picture and the woman is taking the picture to the uh, storm, yes, okay, the tornado. Okay, well now there is another group, uh, this is a truck, it's bigger than a pickup. You have a thunder there, yes, you have a, um, a truck, yes. I think it must have all kinds of devices there, yes, okay. So, do you think it is uh, easy or difficult to catch a tornado? Well, I think it is uh, a very difficult activity because tornadoes, um, um, you know, they are very, um, how to say, um, they are very difficult to catch, yes, okay, because they are unpredictable, yes, they are unpredictable, and of course they are very dangerous because they can destroy houses, uh, they, they can destroy uh, cars, and of course,
course, many, um, many storm chasers have died. You know, look at this picture. Oh my God, I wouldn't like to be in that situation. Yes, okay. This is the camera. There is a pickup there. And there are two more men there. Yes. And of course, I suppose there is a big storm. Yes. Okay. So that's why I wouldn't like to be a storm chaser. Yes. Okay. And well, to catch, you know, a tornado, to see a tornado, it's very difficult because they, they are un unpredictable. They change. They can change the, their directions. Okay. Good. So, shall we go to the listening now? Yes, we are going to go to the listening. And we are going to, uh, you are going to answer, answer the, um, the questions in exercise two. Okay, good. Well, there we are. There we are. Listen. Track 93, Unit 10A. 1. Have you done your... Ninety-three, Unit Twelve, Opener. When a tornado is coming, most people drive in the opposite direction, but storm chases look for tornadoes and drive towards them. Yes, okay. Most people escape from tornadoes, but storm chasers go straight forward to them. Yes, okay, because they chase them. Some storm chasers are scientists and they try to learn more about how tornadoes are formed. Okay, so some storm, uh, storm chasers are, uh, you know, scientists, and they are trying to know how um, tornadoes are formed, but some others, other, others, other people that chase them, other um, tornado chasers, are normal people, ordinary people, common people, they want to take good photos and that's all, yes? Other storm chasers are just everyday people who are interested and want to get good photos. The most common time of day to see a tornado is between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m., but they can be very unpredictable. They can change direction at any moment, and so they are difficult to follow. That also makes them extremely dangerous. They can destroy trees and houses in seconds, and some storm chasers have died while they were following tornadoes. Yes, okay, they are very, very, very dangerous, you know. Some storm ch chasers have died following those tornadoes, yes, okay, good. So, uh, well, the question was, ma was made. Yes, okay, it was already made. Yes, would you like to be a storm chaser? Yes, no, and why? Yes. Um, well, what do you think about these people? Yes, okay, I think they are very brave. Yes, okay. Well, so um, what about extreme weather? Yes, what about extreme weather? Yes, uh, okay, I will tell you the answers. Okay, the answers. They drive in the opposite direction. Some storm chasers are scientists and others are normal others are normal people, ordinary people. Yes, they want just to they want just to follow them, uh, the tornado, not them, follow the tornado and uh, take good photos. Yes, number three, the scientists want to learn uh, how tornadoes are formed, and the ordinary people want to take good photos. Exercise four, <coughs> sentence four. Okay, between 4 a.m. and 9 p.m. They are unpredictable. They are very dangerous. They can describe, uh, they destroy houses, trees, 
uh, you know, many storm chasers have died. Okay, good. So let's go to page 142, 143. Okay, I want you to match the weather words with the photos. You have photos here and you have weather words, yes? I want them to be highlighted. Thunder, lightning, uh, snowstorm, hail. You know what hail are? Granizos, yes? Clouds, okay? Good. Are you ready? <clears throat> yes, all right. A, snowstorm. B, floods. C, thunder and lightning. D, hail. Exercise two. Which part of the world often have extreme weather in exercise one? Yes. Southeast Asia, yes, Malaysia, Bangladesh, yes, snowstorm in Canada or Scandinavia, yes, thunder and lightning in tropical countries, hail in Central Europe, yes, tornadoes in the American Midwest, yes, okay, and of course we have hail um, when the weather is very, very hot here, and sometimes we have extreme weather in summer yes and we have already had we had in the past floods yes floods yes and oh my god they destroyed how destroyed houses they destroy everything and you know poor people are then without their houses without a place to live okay so we are going to read the article there what kind of questions uh, does Randall answer on his blog? Yes, and you are going to do exercise four, that is answer yes or no, okay? Read the text first and then do the activities, okay? Now is the time to pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? Good. Every week people send Randall questions about uh, unlikely uh, or impossible things and he gives scientific answers on his blog, okay? Number one, no. Number two, no. Number three, yes. Number four, yes. Number five, yes. Number six, yes. Let's go to exercise five now. And I want you to make sentences in your notebook of English. Five sentences using, first of all, conditional one. If I study, I will learn. If I cook deliciously, my family will eat. Yes, all the food. Okay? So, I want you to write three sentences with conditional one and three sentences with conditional two. I give you the uh, idea. Okay? If I, uh, if I uh, learn English, I will be successful in the future. Number one, if I study hard, I will pass all my, all my exams. If I watch TV until late, yes, I won't sleep well. Yes, okay? So that is all, yes? Can we go to conditional number two, if plus pass with infinity? If I have money, I could buy a new house. If I won the lottery, I would help. If I won the lottery, I would have helped poor people. Yes, if it, if, it, if, it, if it is clear, yes, I want you to. Is it clear? Yes, okay. I want you to write the structure and you know, write examples. Yes, if I played, uh, if I uh, did a lot of gymnastics, I would feel very very uh, tired. If I read a lot of a lot of books of history, I would know a lot. Yes, okay, about history. Yes, all right. So these are your sentences. I want you I want you to highlight the grammar chart there. Yes, okay. And we're going to do exercise five. Okay. Are you ready? One A. Yes, if plus past plus would infinity. 2B, 
impossible situations, yes? If I were you, I could kiss him, yes? Si yo fuese tú, it's an impossible situation, porque nunca voy a ser vos, ¿ok? Uh, number three, B, the present or future. For A, the first clause begins with if. Acordate que el if tiene que ir siempre pegado con el pasado. En el condicional 1, conditional 1, y pegado al presente. Ya sea que esté adelante o atrás. I would buy a house if I won the lottery. I would travel if I had money. Yes? Ok, primero comienzo con la otra parte, pero la if clause siempre tiene que estar pegada a qué? Al pasado en el conditional este, en el conditional 2. ¿Está clear? Right. So, I want you to do exercise 6, 7, and 8. 6, 7, and 8. Is it clear? Right. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Good. Well, exercise 6. If I have time, I would help you with your homework. You wouldn't need help if you listened in class. Would you ask your friends for money if you didn't have any? If I, no, sorry, I would visit Asian Rome if I travel, if time travel was possible. Time travel, yes? El, el, el viaje a lo largo del, al, ¿cómo es? Eh, al tiempo, yes? En el tiempo. Yes. They wouldn't use a translator if they spoke English. If you started a new business, what would you produce? One stopped. Two would be, three would become, four good and last, five couldn't be able to, six would go up, didn't have, seven, eight would have to, eight rained could be, flooded would have to, have would need, weren't wouldn't need to, snowed wouldn't be able to. Yes, okay. So, we have exercise 10 that is talking and it says, would you live in another country? Yes, if you could. Would you live in another country if you could? Where would you move to? Yes, if I could, I would move to Italy. If I could, I would move to France. Yes, okay. What about you? Right, say the same sentence, but you tell me, where would you live? Okay. If you could meet someone famous, would it be? Who could it be? If I, um, if I met someone famous, I would meet, I would meet René Favaloro and I would ask him why he committed suicide and I would tell him, please don't commit suicide. Please don't kill yourself. We need more people like you in our country. Yes? So, I will meet him. I really like René Favaloro. Okay? Uh, if you want a lot of money, if I want a lot of money, I wouldn't stop working. Um, maybe I would take a year off and I would travel around the world and then I would continue teaching in different places, not only here, but in different places. Yes? Okay? Teaching everything yes okay just to help people to uh to educate people educate um to motivate i mean not educate but motivate people yes to inspire people yes to be better yes that 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 is the thing i would like to do i would like to do if i have money more money okay good shall we go to page 144 144 Fine, but first of all, we're going to highlight the chart on page 145 and we're going to go to page 178 with your highlighter and you're going to highlight the grammar. Conditional one, sorry, conditional two, and somewhere, everywhere, somewhere, and everything. Yes, okay? There you have conditional. And here you have uh, anywhere, Everyone, ok, so we have where, vamos a usar para todos los lugares, para hablar de lugares, ¿sí? Estos son indefinite pronouns, 
indefinite pronouns. One or body for people and thing when you talk about objects. Everywhere, everybody, everything, tienen un positive meaning. Somewhere, someone, somebody or something to talk about places. I think we need to find, find somewhere to eat. Somebody told me that you are looking for me. Somebody told me that you are looking for new teachers. I think there's something happening between them. Is it clear? Escribite tus ejemplos como los estoy dando yo en clase. Los estoy dando, ¿ok? Is it clear? Write your own examples. Los que tienen negative meaning. Nowhere, nobody, nothing. I found nobody here. There's nothing we can do. She's like... Yes, she's like this. I found nowhere to sit. The concert was plenty of people. Yes. Anywhere, anybody, anything. Yes. Vamos a usar con un verbo negativo. I, I didn't find anywhere to sit. I didn't see anybody in the class. There isn't anything to eat in the fridge. In questions, is there anywhere we can park? Can anybody help me? Did you see anything? Did you see? Did you buy anything interesting? Did you buy anything new last weekend? Y ojo para hacer offers. Would you like something to drink? Do you want me? Uh, do you want me to ask somebody to help you? Would you like to go somewhere, somewhere, yes, more, uh, you know, elegant? Tus ejemplos, your examples, okay? Right? Entonces, leo, analizo, escucho los errores de la teacher y escribo mis propios errores, mis propios eh, um, sentences, okay? Analizo los eh, ejemplos de la teacher, okay? Good. So, we are going to uh, go to uh, page 144, yes, okay. Uh, you are going to see here, nature we always see, and nature we never see, yes, okay. Good. So a ladybird, yes, we don't often see a ladybird, so I put it in that group of the things we never see. An elephant, we never see it, we are not used to seeing an elephant, yes. This is not, you know, look at this, this is amazing. Look, this nature is amazing, yes. We don't often see this nature, you know. If we go to uh, the rain for uh, the Catarata uh, waterfall, yes, okay, but we don't normally see this nature. And on the other hand, this is a nature we always see, you know, trees, tall trees, but well, for these trees we have to go to Ariloche, I think. But, um, if we go to the countryside, we can see these tall trees, yes? Because, you know, the eucalypto, uh, eucalyptus is very uh, tall, it's a very tall tree. You know, mountains, a lake, you have to go to Bariloche if you want to see uh, a place like this, yes? Okay, so uh, about this unit, and this is, you know, Something that we always see, palm trees, yes? Okay, this is very traditional from Formosa, yes? If you are driving, if you are coming from another city, when you are about to um, arrive, yes, here, yes, you start seeing this kind of nature, yes, this kind of 
typical uh, palm trees, okay? Good, well, so um, think about that, yeah, think about uh, the things you usually see, the things we don't often see, yes? Um, do you like taking photos of nature? Yes, okay. Uh, do you ever take photos of nature? Why, why not? Yes, okay. And um, I want you to go to exercise two and match the words they are mountain, river, park, ocean with the pictures. Yes, okay, with these pictures. Yes, and why do you think these um, pictures, there is something in the picture, and it's the frame, the green frame. Why do you think this frame is there? Because there is a very famous photographer that takes these photos and he's used to taking this frame. And you are going to listen why he does this. Okay, is it clear? So do exercise two and we're going to check, okay? Match the pictures, okay? Come on, Valka, come on, do it. Exercise two, okay? There we are. A, ocean. B, forest, mountain, possible park. C, forest, possible park. D, river, river, field, garden and park are man-made. Yes, okay? So let's go to exercise three. And we have already talked about this. Things, uh, nature, we always see, we usually see, we every day see, yes? Uh, nature, we see when we go on holidays, and nature we never see. For example, you know, an elephant, we see an elephant hardly, never, hardly, I hardly ever see an elephant. Yes, a ladybird, for example, a ladybird. But listen, when we go on holidays, yes, you see different nature. For example, you see the beach, the ocean, the sea, yes. And you can see the mountains, for example, the lake, if you go to Bariloche. Yes, so now we're going to listen to part of the, to the documentary about David um, and you're going to, to know why he takes um, these photos in the frame, yes, okay, in the metal green frame, okay, good, and you're going to do exercise four and five, the true or false and the answer to that, that question, all right, is it clear, right, there we go. Right, right, right. Track 96, Unit 12B. If you live in the middle of the city, maybe you think that there's nowhere to look at nature. Or if you have a local park, perhaps you don't see anything except people walking their dogs. However, David Litschwager, the photographer, wants to show us that everyone can find nature. Different species of plants and animals are always somewhere nearby. Okay, so he wants to show, this photographer wants to show us that nature is everywhere even in the park that is near to your house okay so that's why he uses a frame yes david spent five years recording living things in different places around the world five year recording in different places that's a lot he used a green metal frame which measured one cubic foot and took it to different locations so he takes this green frame to the different locations, yes, to take his photos, yes. Then he spent three weeks in that place and photographed everything living inside the green metal cube. Okay, he spent, he put the frame, he puts the frame there and he spends three weeks and he photographs everything that is inside this green frame. That's amazing, yes, that's very uh you know curious 
That included leaves, animals, plants, fish, even living things which were smaller than one millimetre in size. Some of his photos were taken in places far away from any towns, such as the middle of a forest, the side of a mountain, the ocean or a river. But some of them were taken in parks in the middle of cities. Okay, that's great. Well, uh, you know the cube, a shape like a box that has six equal square side, cubic adjective. Yes, okay. Well, so to show us that everyone can find nature and that different species and plants and animals can be everywhere. Yes, okay. Uh, somewhere nearby, yes, to record the living things in different places around the world. Yes, one true, two true, three true, four false, five false, okay? And now is the time that you highlight it, this chart, with everybody, everyone, and try to do the exercises, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Right. So, let's go. Exercise six. Body. One, to talk about people. Where, to talk about places. Thing, to talk about objects. Exercise seven. Everybody loves taking photos. Two. Nobody likes. Acuérdate, nobody, el verbo va en positivo, eh? Ojo, no puede ser nobody, don't like. Yeah, so doesn't like, perdón. Three, did somebody take a photo of me? Y yo ahí voy a poner, did anybody, porque ya que sabemos que todos los any van para las questions y para las negativas, la que mejor queda, la que está correctamente mejor, pueden ser las dos posibilidades, but the most, uh, the, the correct one is any, yes, okay? No, I don't think anybody did. Number four, somebody took my photo. Eight, one, anywhere. Two, somewhere. Three, nowhere. Four, everywhere. Five, everybody. Six, everything. And seven, something. Exercise 9. Anywhere interesting. Ahí tenemos una pregunta, entonces sabemos que usamos. Did you go anywhere interesting this weekend? Number 2. Something. Yes, I want to, I want to see something on TBS. Yes, okay. Number 3. Anyone. Has anyone phoned me this afternoon? 5. Somebody, someone. No hay diferencia. Cualquiera de los dos están bien. Uh, no, nothing to eat. Seven, everywhere. Eight, somewhere. Nobody, no one. La misma, puede ser las dos options. Yes, the two options are okay. Anything. Exercise 10. Are you going... Anywhere? Did you do anything interesting? Have you ever met? Have you ever met anybody? Yes, you know while you were on holiday. Okay. Well, so um, I want you to do all the um, all the activities there on the activity book. Yes, on the activity book. Yes, is it clear? Yes, only activity book pages. I was reading the other on the other plan. Yes, only pages 92, exercise 1, 93, 4, 94 and 6, 94 and 95. All of them, all the exercises are in the photo pizarra, okay? Mwah. See you next class. Revise everything, study, highlight all the grammar charts. See you next class. Bye-bye.